The changes in Unity 5 with regards to physically base shading are a welcome addition, but uh, to really get the results that we want to see, um, we have to make the most out of our lighting conditions, and that's why the changes like Enlighten are, are, are so essential. If physically based shading is the biggest change, lighting is a close second. But with Enlighten, it has a little bit more functionality. You, can't, you can bake light maps, but you can also bake what they call real-time GI. So you can go through your scene, put a bunch of emissive objects in your scene through your material properties, and through the API, you can actually animate those uh, emissive properties, and it's actually going to cast light into your scene. On mobile, we did have baked-in light maps, and our typical workflow was setting up the lights, doing what you thought was a reasonable pass, not having any visual feedback, and then you hit a bake button, and then you sit around for the next 15, 20 minutes waiting for that to finish. Now it's more like instant gratification. I can take a light, drop it in the scene, and um, just basically get results that feel more realistic right out of the box and don't take as much adjustment. That's the power that a deferred light model gives you. In our previous development for mobile, we had to create our reflection probe volumes in outside applications like 3D Max or Maya. And because we were using cube map reflections, we'd have to bring these pieces of geo or these volumes into Unity and then assign the proper scripts. The awesome thing about Unity 5's reflection probes is it's as easy as essentially planting a light in a scene. You just say add reflection probe and then you change this volume and it can actually project that onto the volume so you actually have spatially accurate reflections. These reflection probes that are placed around our scene are making it much easier to distinguish what materials are what. Is it a plastic? Is it a metal? Uh, is it wood? Now you have an added option of reflection probe static which essentially means that that object will be read by that reflection probe. And once everything's set up you just hit bake and it's good to go. First go, we actually realized that our, our baking times were outrageous. Like we'd have one room that was fairly small and it'd be about 45 minutes. And after a lot of troubleshooting, talking with some of the guys over on the Enlightened team, we found out that there's a new component called GI charting. You can go into an object's properties under the lighting tab and under the properties, you can say, okay, well, what is the actual size? What is the angle that the GI charts actually established at? And if you use high enough values, you should be able to drop all your objects to about one, maybe two charts per object. At that point, we actually started to get a lot better results. So we can start increasing the iteration or the textile resolution of the real-time GI. It's color graded as well. So we can get a resolution and then it'll separate each material. So we know exactly how many objects are really being factored into this light map. And so say there's certain objects that we want to give a little more emphasis in the light map. GI charting allows us to go in and kind of customize and get a much better idea of where things are at before we hit that bake button. Artists hate waiting, and so uh, this is a big help, and uh, GI charting's made that possible. When the artists do their lighting pass, all of the time is taken um, room by room without any characters inside, so I have to make sure I put characters in their environments and make sure based on camera location or um, just different angles or heights of the characters, making sure that the materials react to the real life counterparts, making sure that the environment and the characters um, appear to be lit consistently. It's, it's pretty exciting to see all that come together and seeing the mesh uh, with the environment as well. So a few weeks ago, our game was complete chaos. We had broken materials, lighting wasn't set up correctly, we had occlusion data still in there. Now we're at a state where we have very few materials that haven't been converted to physically based. Almost every room has dynamic lighting now. As time's gone on, we've put in the work and we've been fixing all these little bugs. We're starting to see the game come into a place that we haven't seen it before. And as we get closer to ship, Everything's going to come more and more into sync. We just have to figure out a few performance issues and then it's out the doors into the public's hands and that's very exciting.